Welcome to Sam and Kev's Outdoor Adventures. I'm Sam. And I'm Kev, and today we're in Abel Tasman National Park, and um, we've started at Wainui, and we're going to do a loop um, around the final or first day of the Abel Tasman track. Right, so a lot of you out there will know the Abel Tasman National Park track. I've done it myself with my family. Uh, we did from Tauturanui down to Marahau, but we've never done the very top end, which is far less frequented than the rest. And that's what we're trying to do today. And we're gonna do it in a day loop and show you all the cool spots. So our first section from Wainui is up over Gibbs Hill. Um, it'll take us um, a couple of hours weather looks a bit crap so um probably not going to do too much filming and um we'll probably see it when we uh hit the beaches that took us about two hours ten from the wainui car park to get to the uh Tauturanui high tide track um we had quite a bit of rain over there but luckily it's come out sunny it took us about half an hour from the uh Tauturanui high high tide track to get down to Annapai Beach which is the uh, the first highlight on this track. This is why we're doing this walk. We're four hours in and we've just got to Anatakapo Beach. Uh, further up the distance we can see another beach which is Mutton Cove and there's a campground in between. Just beautiful spot. So highlight number three is separation point. So um, main feature here is the separation point lighthouse. It is uh, possible to climb down to that, um, but it's quite steep. So you've got to be got to be reasonably careful. And there's also a small seal colony and a colony of gouts.
so we're just making our way down to Fali Farangi Beach, which we think is probably the uh, the best beach that we've come across today. But they have all been pretty spectacular. Right, so we've made it to what we think is the best hut in the Abel Tasman National Park, Fari Farangi Hut. So this hut was actually once an old farm um, house from the 1860s and it's been converted to this hut. So it's, it's awesome that it's been saved. Uh, there's around about 20 odd uh, beds and bunks in there. It's just been set up really, really well. So Fari Farangi, so we know that Fari means house or home. Farangi is actually a tree that's found in the coastal area of the northern uh, or top of the South Island. So essentially what it stands for is the home or the place of the Farangi tree. So here we've got the, uh, the kawa kawa and you can see here there's a huge number of holes in the leaves. These are caused by the uh, Kawakawa lupa moth and um, the kawakawa leaf is often used in Maori traditional medicine and it's the leaves with the holes in them that are most effective. So that brings us to the end of our tramp from Wainui to Totoranui to Fari Whairangi. It's been an awesome day out. Uh, it's taken us about eight hours to do the full loop. We've seen some spectacular beaches. We reckon it's the best part of the Abel Tasman and uh, we've also seen the best hut in the Abel Tasman National Park. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have, give it a like, if you'd like to see some more, hit subscribe, and hopefully Sam and I will see you next time we're out tramping.